Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, I am so excited to share with you the Wise Dog Tarot created by MJ Cullinane. I hope I'm saying that correctly, I never know. If that name sounds familiar, they created the Crow Tarot. I love this deck, and if you have not checked it out, I will link it in the little eye up there. And I found this deck whilst we were in Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk and when we were going around downtown Santa Cruz. If you have not yet checked out my second channel, I have a blog about our time there. I will link it in the link tree down below in the description box. All right, so I believe this retails for $22.99. I am not quite certain, I don't remember, but it's published by US Game Systems and I will link down in the description box as well where you can purchase this I'm not sponsored I'm not affiliated all right so let's get into it the wise dog tarot was created as a tribute to the unconditional love and loyalty of dogs large and small inspired by the symbolism of the Rider Waite Smith tarot these 78 vibrant tarot cards help connect us to the wisdom and intuition that dogs are eager to share with us using this unique tool deck tarot tech, excuse me, as a healing tool, we can tap into the protective energy dogs bring into our lives, learn to be more in the moment like them, and embrace their pure joy. So 78 cards with a 64-page booklet with ideas for single and three-card readings. Okay, so first of all, love the packaging. It's straight to the point and there's no excess. Gotta love that. All right, and I don't think we really need to see anything in the guidebook. I think what we'll do, yeah, it's all straightforward. So what we'll do is um, pull a card after we shuffle, after the flip through and read how it'll be read in the guidebook. So let's get into it, I'm too excited. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love animals and animal decks. Take a look at how fun the back of that is. I love. All right, and real fast, let's just take a peek see at the cardstock. Not too shabby. So it's very sturdy, it snaps back, but it's still flexible. And it's a decent size too. It's not very small at all. It's a very nice card size. All right, look at how stinking cute. Fair warning, I'm gonna be ooing and aahing this whole time, so if that's bothering to you, you can go ahead and turn me down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I do like that there's a thin border because sometimes we can't avo avoid the borders and then the title of the card is down at the bottom. So you really do get a full view of the card. Oh, the artwork is just stunning. Look at the pugs, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna see if I can find dogs similar to my babies in this deck. Love that they added the ram skull. Oh. Leader of the pack there. Very cool. Love that duality. I love the husky videos where they're just singing and howling. I just get the biggest kick out of them. However, huskies are so smart and they need so much love and attention. Like I could not have a husky. I'm not active enough. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, very gracious. Look at this. Very graceful, I should say. Love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, Lady and the Tramp, Jacques. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Oh my gosh. Stop. So this is kind of like a, a um, so Simon is our old man and he's similar to this, but he's black. So kind of similar dog. I kind of like this death card. Very positive. 
definitely getting all the symbolism in. Oh my gosh. Is that a chihuahua? Oh my gosh. Yeah, love that devil card. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Precious. Absolutely precious. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love the symbolism here. Oh, just a happy baby. Oh, look at all of the little babies down here. Cute. Oh, we're starting with the kings. Okay. Wow. These are very dynamic too. There's a lot of movement in it. Oh, sweet. There's a lot to look at too. I feel like these will be kind of like her crow deck where you just see new things every time you use it. Oh, how sweet. Oh, this is kind of sad. So we're going backwards. Okay. I like that there's cats up here. Oh, sweet baby. Look at that. You even have the crow up there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't know whether he's taking him or bringing him back. Oh, <laughs> these are really precious, absolutely precious. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, cups. So far, I do not really see my dogs in these, and that's okay. I love the paws there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we have a tentacle here. That's neat. Why are these just so precious? Oh my gosh. I'm very impressed. And I knew I was going to be because I really enjoyed her other decks. So she had, I have from her the, um, obviously the Crow Tarot and then her Crow Oracle. And I really do like those. So it's really awesome to see that she has a dog version and oh, she has a bunch of other decks as well but unfortunately i was not fast enough to get them so i have to wait until she does another edition oh my goodness <laughs> oh it's precious there's a great mix of different breeds in here too. Different types of dogs. The expressions are what are getting me right now. Oh my goodness. Lots of symbols. These cards really feel great in your hand. This is a great, um, if you're not wanting to spend too much money but want a quality deck and you love dogs, this is a pretty decent deck so far. I'm quite impressed. The quality feels really good. Cardstock, size-wise. 
Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. It really is um, checking all my boxes so far. Oh my gosh. I told you, I told you this was gonna happen. It's too cute. Oh my God, stop. Oh. oh, okay, this one's more like Simon. Absolutely. The expression and the ears. Yes. Only my dog is black. <laughs> he has a lot of gray in his beard and his mustache, though. He's an old man. Oh, precious. The Cavaliers. Oh, my goodness. Love. Oh, they added a horse for this one. Oh. I'm really excited to see a little bit of the guidebook. Cute. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Helping him get over the fence. <laughs> oh, sweet. And our last one. Oh. So there's like a little bit of a glare, um, a little gloss. I wouldn't call it a, a full gloss though. It's pretty matte, but actually, yeah, just a little reflection you get, but yeah, I would call it more, um, more matte than gloss for sure, but it's hard to tell. There's like a little bit of a coating. Okay, let's see how they shuffle here. Ooh. They do snap back. They're very flexible. I do not have an issue whatsoever with these. All right, we're going to read for the hanged man, but I just wanted you guys to see the different ways that you can shuffle. Can you shuffle the sideways with this? Not very much, but where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, have no issues with the shuffling whatsoever. So we are going to read for this guy here, the hanged man, number 12. Okay. Just as life starts to move along, there is a snag. There is even an event, uh, excuse me, there is an event that seems to say, oh, not so fast. And before you know it, you enter a state of suspension. The hanged man asks you to see this setback not as an opportunity to focus on struggling, but instead as a chance to see your situation from a different perspective. It is a chance to grow, to heal, to evaluate your position, from every angle. You may discover something new that in the end turns out to be fortuitous. Keywords, setbacks, stagnation, releasing control, seeing a new perspective. All right. So there's no like reversal keywords or meaning, but um, if you are one that likes to use those, you can always find them in tarot books or online as well. Um, I don't typically read for reversals that often. Sometimes I do. Um, I, I don't know. I just use it intuitively. Um, but yeah, I definitely think there's a lot of good information in here too. Um, how to use the tarot as a tool for healing, clearing your deck. So single card reading, three card reading, and then you have some spread ideas for the three card. Then you have basic symbolism. 
and then acknowledgments. Okay. Oh, they're the dogs that inspired the deck. Oh, how sweet. Oh my God. Precious. Absolutely precious. And then you have a stuff in the back here for some notes or daily draws. All right. So my opinion, I absolutely love it, but um, I, I feel like I am a little biased just because I do love her crow tarot. Um, and this is just a deck of dogs. And I, what, I mean, I can't really say no to a deck of dogs. <laughs> But the quality is really great. I love the art style. I love that they kept a lot of the symbolism in here. Um, just absolutely beautiful and fun um, and definitely worth the price tag. Again, I paid like $22 or $23.99 for it. I feel like that's a really decent price for what you're getting. And, um, you know, it comes with a guidebook. And yeah, for, for it to be that of a Oh my goodness, get your words out, Natasha. For it to be that price and this feels really good in your hand, I'm okay with that. So I would love to know what you think about this deck down in the comments section below. Do you love it? Do you have it? Are you having it on your wish list? Do you even love dogs? Like, how do you feel about this deck? I'm always curious to see your guys' reactions and your opinions. And always remember that these are my thoughts and opinions as well. So um, we might not agree, but at least that's what the, these videos are for. So you can see what you're getting out of the decks. So I'm happy with it. I am excited to start using them, especially for pick a card readings. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending your time with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. You don't even know. <laughs> so that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. All right, everyone, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.